This time on the corner, we're going to look at our stock Tronx CXY2 Pro and come up with five things to greatly enhance our printing experience next. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Jeff. Welcome to my corner. And this time around, I'm going to look at my stock XY2 Pro, the way it comes from the factory and how to enhance your, your printing experience for the first time. Um, now, if you're new to the printing game or the Trunks is your first printer, or even if you've been around the printing game for a while, but you don't want to flash firmwares or anything, this is going to be a basic thing to show you uh, the five things you can do in order to greatly enhance your experience out of the box with the Tronxies. I've been playing around with this. I've had this printer for about a year and a half. I've flashed Marlin, I've flashed back, I've gone this way, that way. I've done a ton of different stuff to it, but lately I've left it on the stock firmware and I'm going to look at the best print quality I can get as a brand new user. So right out of the gate, if you're new to printing and if you want to get the best experience from your Tronxy, this video is probably for you, okay? So, um, as you can see, I got a few different prints here. I got some um, beautiful lithophanes. I, I'll, 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 I'll send some close-ups of these so you can see. Um, vase mode or vase mode, depending on how you pronounce it and depending on how you drop it, <laughs> comes out really good. Um, I did some prints with um, mechanical parts here um right so these things are great um, in order to test mechanical vase mode lithophanes basic standard little prints just to check out fuzzy um exteriors on prints and even like some silk prints and stuff like that so I, I kind of had these off of this machine for a little bit now um playing around with different ideas on how to produce this video and with that let's talk about the five things okay number one number one thing that you want to do Here's your Tronxy build plate. And if you can see right here, here is the, um, the nozzle burying in there, okay? So what you wanna do, number one, the first thing you wanna do is instead of constantly resetting your Z offset before every print, you want to go through the documentation for the um, Jeff Victor, Keith Varen, um, Z offset fix. Okay. That's the first thing you want to do. Uh, I have a, a video, I'll link it below that you can go through and it's a visual guide. It will guide you through how to get that. So you don't get these little dig marks from your nozzle digging into your bed. That's your first thing. That's number one. Okay. Number two, when you first get your Tronxy XY2 Pro, they give you the Tronxy slicer software that you have to set up yourself well it is a offshoot of cura so number two what you want to do is you want to go and download cura right from the web page get the latest edition and install it in your machine or on your, your your laptop or your computer or whatever you use okay um once you have that installed there is a Trunksy XY2 Pro profile already built into that. That's what I did all my prints off of was that profile. That worked out just fine. You don't need to do too much tweaking right off the bat. Um, it will work great for your PLAs and stuff like that. And as you get more experienced, you can adjust some of the settings. Okay. So that's your second thing. Now your third thing is going to be in Tronxy Slicer. You're going to go to the marketplace and you're going to download the, um, the Chichu um, display. I believe it's called um, Chichu uh, G-Code display. 
And that's just going to add a little bit of enhancement that when you actually do your prints on the screen, you'll be able to see a visual representation of your prints. So you're going to slice your object and then you're going to save it as a Chichu G code file. Okay. That's what you're going to have to do in order to see it represented on your trunk C screen. That's just going to, help you out later as you get a whole bunch of different prints on the card and you might forget what one thing is you'll have that visual reference so that's a fantastic thing as well um, number four is as you move on you're going to want to put some better cooling onto your trunk seat add a different fan um, you're going to find a whole bunch of models off of um, Thingiverse or My Mini Factory or wherever you get your STLs from. I did a shootout video a while back and you can actually see the difference between different styles of cooling ducts. Okay. Um, now with that, you can always add a um, different blower or different fan in order to increase your cooling. The Hero Gen 5 system will work really great with the Tronxies. As a matter of fact, I do have some parts printed out right here for a shroud. That is going to be a later project because I did it for the Vox Lab, but it's exactly the same thing. I'll link that video down below as well. Number five. Now, even though this print base is really good, um, it's actually, I'm not, it's a fiberglass print base, which is great. And I've done some videos on it before, but the challenge with it, sometimes it's not perfectly level. Okay. You're going to see if I were to, um, put it on my bed and if I were to hold a mirror and shine or hold a ruler and shine a light behind it, you would see some gaps in there. And that's actually really noticeable when I did this mechanical part here. You'll see at one part of it, it's a really nice bottom. And at the other part, it's the layers are different. I'll have a close up of that so you can see that as well. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself uh, just a magnetic or a metal, ooh, as I blind you here, sorry, <laughs> a metal bed. Okay. Now by getting a metal bed or a magnetic build plate, this one has a PEI sheet on it. Um, it's going to be a little bit better than this paper um, covered, sticker covered um, fiberglass plate. Um, it's going to give you hopefully a better or a much better, much more smoother bottom layer. Um, I can tell with the weight, it's a bit heavier. It's um, going to sit a bit flusher on your build plate. Okay. So yeah, it's a flexible steel build plate. I did a video on this a while back too. I can link that as well. You can pick these up off of AliExpress, off of Amazon. Um, just have a look. Okay. So yeah, those would basically be the, um, the five things that I found will greatly enhance your printer experience right off the bat with your Tronxy XY2 Pro, just with the stock firmware and stuff. And honestly, you can later on, as you get more comfortable, flip to Marlin and stuff. But with these five enhancements that I've talked about, I don't really see a need to. I the it prints fine. It does good quality prints right out. Um, the the main thing is the um, the Z offset fix. That's your main one. That's the first one you want to do. That one will reward you in dividends as far as your frustration level and printing level with the Tronxy. Um, the the um, Cura slicer. Well, you're, you're basically, they're sending you a slicer to install and you're putting your own stuff into it anyways. So you might as well just download the latest version from Cura and start working off of that right away. Um, I generally use Prusa slicer, but I've been using Cura for all of these tests and with the default slicer works fantastic. Um, the Chichu G code, uh, display, uh, from the marketplace works fantastic. It's a nice little added bit of polish to your machine. So when you save your STLs or your G code to your machine to print, uh, later on, if you want to go back and reference it, it'll give you a nice little picture of what you're going to see. Um, the cooling, I don't think I've seen a printer yet that, you know, nobody's played around with to add more cooling to, um, with the single duct and the, um, the blower that they currently have on there, there's always room for improvement. Okay. So 
Does it do a good job? Yeah, it does an okay job, but you can get better cooling, which will give you better overhangs and bridges and stuff. So that will enhance it. And it's nothing that you have to go far into. You don't have to reprogram anything or anything. You can just grab a file off of Thingiverse, print it out. I would suggest printing it out in a pet G and the trunks is very capable of printing out pet G quite nicely. I've done a few prints in pet G. I haven't had a problem whatsoever. So, um, and then only the, you're going to print it out in pet G because it's going to be close to your nozzle. So there's going to be more heat. So you don't want it warping like you would have probably with PLA. You do want to put down a glue stick or something on whatever build surface you're going to use. So you have a bit of separation because pet G tends to stick quite a bit. And then finally, just a magnetic build plate on there. I didn't do any of these prints with the magnetic build plate, but as you can see by this print here, and I'll do a close up right now, you can see how it's, um, there's different height levels by using the, um, the standard build plate. Now that won't matter with the bottom of a vase or anything like that, but when you're doing the mechanical part, it might. Okay. Cause as I could see here, there's a little bit of a, a mush. You'll, you'll, you'll see it in the picture right at the, uh, the axle for the, um, the lid. Okay. And yeah, so that sums it up. Those are the five great things that I personally would do to my Tronxy um, to get the best possible printing experience out of it. So yeah, if you want to pick up one of these Tronxies, um, I do have an affiliate link down below. Please feel free to um, click on the link to go to the store because then I will... <laughs> You're not spending any more, but I'll get um, a little percentage of if you decide to purchase anything, okay? And if you're cruising through the channel, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up or a like. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much. See you then.